<clears throat> I just got the news about the um, testing, uh, testing one, two, uh, testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two. following audiovisual
Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Talewando. Yeah, yeah. First of all, you, you, you got to call up the. Um, uh, you got to do a few things for me. I, I, I've been packing up these boxes all morning. I need you to. Um, I need you to. Uh, I need you to do one thing for me right here. I need you to. Uh, oops. Right now, I want to do anything I can to co cooperate in this investigation. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Well, like I said, I need to know that you haven't sold or tried to sell that tape to anybody else. Can you tell me that? Um, I can tell you I've not um, com completed the transaction. I admit that, but I, I must admit, frankly, I know I'm not under oath, so I'm just saying this at the goodness of my heart. I have uh, entered into preliminary negotiations for Mr. the material. Lee, who has the tape? Excuse me? Who has the tape? Well, I have a copy of the tape, and I will forward right now. If you give me a, um, you know, a, an email, I will have it within four seconds. So you have everything I have. So let's just stay friendly here. because who has I, the original tape? I don't know. I, I don't know who sent it to me. And I say that with a God's honest truth. Think of this, Special Agent. Here, here's the angle. Someone sent it to me with the hope that I would be able to exploit it into the distribution media, whether it's MTV. Did you make any copies? Did I, I did receive, through FedEx, a copy of this material. Nine hours plus of raw material from their last hours at I that graduation that. party. Did you make any copies after you received No. The no, I have not. I have not. But what I have done is told people in the industry about the existence of this because, to me, it still could be a Blair Witch thing where it's all fictional. I just don't know. Well, it's certainly not a crime for you to tell anybody about it. But from this point forward, you'd be doing yourself a, 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 a favor.
favor if you wouldn't tell anybody else about this. Because right now, this thing has the potential to really ruin your life. I mean, if you want to be in a position where you're, I mean, just the fact that right now the tapes in California could change us from being a New York investigation into a, a, an interstate FBI situation. And but let me tell you something. The feds don't mess around. I, so, I didn't ask for the tape. So the, the tape was sent to me. And, and to be honest, I was about to report it. But when you get so many tapes from filmmakers trying to do a Blair Witch, you can't report ever you know, fake. The biggest movie ever made was Paranormal Activity, and it's a fake faux footage, found footage thing. It's a genre unto itself. So when I get tapes like that, um, if I call the cops every day, I'd be calling the cops every day. So here's what I got to understand. After watching the tape and seeing the deaths and it all putting it together, I realized I was in too deep. I was about to call you, boys. I made no... If I was trying to hide this, I would not try to shop it. And I will give you everything. You get me some... I'll get you right now on my people on. So they will give you all the information to how to get in touch with us. We will send you digitally everything we got. And, and, and let's touch base soon because I'd like to know where I stand in all this because my reputation's at stake. I'm sure by now you know that the footage you found is real, correct? Well, to be honest, if it is real, uh, and, and let me just add one fact you may not know. I got this from an anonymous source, but what the, there was a note in there, and I'll give it to you for handwriting analysis because it was handwritten. The note said something to the effect of, we want you to show the world or share this with the world. And I think the, the, the footage, for whatever reason, is their manifesto or their statement or their suicide note, whatever. I don't understand. I know that they had something to communicate, and that's why they sent it to, you know, Creative Auto's agency. My understanding is that you also believe that one of the participants may be alive. Is that true? That is new information we just received. Basically, after watching some of this footage, we found out that one of the individuals was rejected from a marriage proposal and humiliated by the fact that this woman who he had asked to marry, who accepted it and rejected him, when...
tears on my face And I'm stuck up in the storm I, I guess I'll be alright I want you to give them practical okay. advice about this world, and I don't think smelling the air is where I'm going for this. Okay, okay continue. Okay. Go. Well, then, then be, talk about whatever comes to you. You have a 22 year old nephew that you like or niece. Warn them about the world. Be cautionary. Be yourself. Do it. Boom. Action. Number one. Remember that you are a member of the human race. Uh, there, uh, uh, a race that included Isaac Newton and uh, uh, Martin Luther King and uh, uh, Jackie Collins and just all kinds of great, great people, all of whom they 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 had a they had a a a goal. They not only had a goal, they had a purpose. They had a purpose. It wasn't even a purpose they chose. It was a purpose they were born with. You have to realize what your purpose is. Find it within you, whatever it takes. Wednesday night, Jim's off. I'm Rob Jennings. The big story in Action News is the multi-alarm fire that turned a $5 million, 22,000 square foot mansion into charred embers. The flames erupted around 2.30 inside the French Chateau on South Ithan Avenue in Radnor Township, right down the road from Villanova's campus, and it burned for the rest of the afternoon. Kenneth Moten has been covering this story for the whole time for us. A couple of firefighters were hurt there. Kenneth, how are they doing? Rob, one firefighter suffered a minor burn, the other a minor injury to his back, so they will be okay. About 20 minutes ago, Ithan Avenue reopened and crews cleared the scene. We've also learned this house had an alarm and sprinkler system to help prevent it from a major fire. Well, it appears that system was no match for whatever started today's fire. This is the new video tonight of firefighters in Radnor Township doing what they can to save this $5 million mansion. Throughout the evening, dozens of firefighters put out the hot spots of the fire that ripped through this 19-bedroom house and left behind this burned-out shell on Ithan Avenue. I thought it was a bloody shame, actually, because it's such a pretty house. Retired businessman Wayne Lewis owned the six-acre estate in the 70s. As Chopper 6 HD hovered over, he watched the inferno eat away at the roof of his former home. When we moved in, it was really quite nice, and we lived there for several years, and then we finally moved out because it was just a tad big. <laughs> 
The house is so big, the family living inside didn't even know there was a fire until the alarm system sounded and alerted firefighters around 2.30 p.m. The Canadian renters got out safely with their pets. Firefighters worked for three hours to contain the fire. Just a tough fire. It was in a, a, a slate roof, trying to get through the roof to get to the fire, and the fire was underneath it real heavily. And it's just hard to put out a fire that's, that it contained with that much heat. Current owner Gerald Badoff was trying to sell the French Chateau, which was called Bloomfield Estates. The home with its high ceilings and beautiful ballroom was built in the 1920s by a wealthy Philadelphia industrialist as a wedding present for his daughter. Several decades ago, another fire took out the roof of the mansion. This time, those like Elaine Scherer, who know this historic home, are not confident it will be restored. It's sad. It's another piece of history that's disappearing. We should also mention this house and the property were used in several movies over the years, including a thriller called Safe, which comes out later this month. The fire marshal says he could have a cause of the fire as early as tomorrow. Reporting live here in Radnor Township, Kenneth Moten, Channel 6, Action News. Thank you, Kenneth. We have more chopper video from the Mainline Mansion Fire at our website, 6abc.com. And we invite you to take a look at our popular slideshow of images from the scene. First of all, I'm not going to say plastics because uh, everybody's different and you're not going to like define a whole generation uh, by pushing them into something. And nobody's, I, I admit this, nobody's ever had it harder than your generation. It's the economy, stupid. So, what do you think? I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. No, it's honestly disgusting. Why would you say that to me? You make me look like a plebeian. Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I didn't invite you to this party. So? So? Yeah. You're not supposed to be here. You're not friends with us anymore. You're, you're acting like you don't even want me here. Yeah, like, I honestly, don't want you here. Don't even tell me that bullshit. Seriously. Look at that smile. <laughs> you know you like it. You know you like it. Don't give me that bullshit. You're, you're an asshole. I'm not. You think you can just go gallivanting around the world pretending to be a fucking rock star? Are you kidding me? And you don't even tell me where you- I have to find out where you are from the radio? That's insulting. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? Do you know who my father is? I don't give a fuck about your dad. <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm serious. I don't. I get more in allowance than you'll make in your entire life. Please, baby. Your daddy knows who I am. And you do too. So don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing. Look, your father knows I'm smart. He could snap you in half, okay? Look. Your father, he already knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. He knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. Your father likes me. I already talked to him. We play golf. It's cool. It's really cool. So Just I, watch your back, okay? No, all I'm saying is this. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. I know that, um, whatever, you want to be at this party, and I came for you, right? You, you want to be You're here. You're an asshole. You want to be here. I'm not forgiving you. I'm not just. I'm not just gonna let this go. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that. Okay. Okay. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. <laughs> no, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I love you. You know that. I'm serious. I'm gonna take you on tour with me. You wanna come? Leave all this bullshit, whatever. Forget about your dad. You're gonna be rich, it's cool. You already know it. You got all that money, whatever. I have my money. I'm taking a tour. It's gonna be cool. I'll take you to Europe. You can have all that wine that you've been dreaming about. Tons of French men over there, but you can't do anything to them. Because okay. you're, my, you're my bitch. <laughs> I have to tell you something. What's up? I know this is really random. Um, I applied to art school at Sarah Lawrence, and I got in. That's good. So what are you saying to me? That you're gonna go? No, you're not gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, you're not. Don't do this shit to me. I'm serious. No, you're not going. You're not going. 
You're not going. I'm serious. You're not going. Don't. Listen. Don't even fucking cry. I'm serious. <laughs> no, you don't. Think, think about the life that we can live. I mean, we've always talked about it. No. I have to go. I'm sorry. Look, look, okay. All right, all right. When it's all said and done... <sighs> yes, music is my life. But you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember sophomore year? I played that song for you. You remember? It was really cool. Don't let me sing it. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your... This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father. Be better than that. And I'm trying to. But and now I've done something and now you don't want me to do it. I'm just saying, can't you do it in Europe? <laughs> Seriously. That's, that's, that's like where the money is. You're all about money anyways, so... Don't you know. make it seem like I'm just about money. That's you kind of are. <laughs> no, just because okay. I have it. Exactly. So I mean, what what happens if we go to fucking Europe, right? And um, I don't know. You you apply to the to the art school there, and you, you get in. Obviously, you're gonna. Do you get think in. I'm not serious? Huh? I'm serious about this. I'm just giving you another option where you can have both of what you want. You can have me and art. I know, but you're not gonna pay for my school. I'll pay for it. You don't have the money to. Please, I went platinum in like two fucking weeks. I have plenty of money. I can't ask you to do that. You don't have to, I just want you to come with Listen, me. Listen, my dad doesn't know that I got it. So, so you're gonna tell him? No, I can't tell him. Why? Are you kidding me? Art? <laughs> so? Art? You, you, already, you, already you, got your... you think that my parents want me to go to art school? Dude, you already got your fucking degree in political science. So what if you decide to go to art school? You're what, your GPA is a 3.9 or some shit? It's a joke to them. Art? Oh my god. They've seen they their would, stuff. They, they, they would rather me sit on a couch all day being fed grapes than go to art school. They didn't see you stuff. know, my, are you kidding me? You were acting like you haven't even met my father. I know, but he 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 told me he was like, you know, she, you know, she's she's good. Although, yeah, he did say that. Okay, fine. I want her to be a lawyer or some shit, or take over the business. Art is like dirt on the bottom of their shoe. You know, it's like a. They appreciate art. They like m my fucking music. They no, appreciate. It's like art. mice in their walls. You know, they just like. They just see it as trash. All right. They look. see it. No, but this is the problem. He can't know. Look, he look. cannot know. All I'm saying, you, you, you're so fucking concerned about your dad and all this shit, but this is what I need to figure out. I need to figure out either you're coming with me, which I know you fucking want to come with me because you want this. I want you too. So um, either you, you, you're going to have to fucking choose to stay in New York and do the whole art thing, or you can go to fucking Europe with me and tour. And you can do your art. And like in Europe, it's more progressive. It's like, you know, it's fast forward. Like Grace Jones, she started over there with her music and stuff like that. And she's pretty big. So, I mean, what do you say? Please, don't. I'm not, why am I fucking saying please? For us. I can't. You guys, you're gonna really say that to me. After all the fuck we fucking been through, you're gonna really tell me no that you can't go. Do you know how much I put into this shit? You're the only one that I fucking care about. All these fucking girls, all these girls around me and shit, you're the only one I write to. 
I've, I've written like what four songs about you and you're gonna make me go through this process by my fucking self you're gonna make me go to fucking Europe you're gonna send me to fucking Europe and while you're gonna fucking stay in New York and do what you wanna do and not even fucking care about my needs for you I want you there I want you I want you there I've written letters, songs. I showed up to this bullshit ass party because I knew you would be there. I talked to your fucking dad. I know he doesn't like me or this or whatever, but I, I, I still did it for us. And you're gonna basically tell me like, no, I don't want to have a life with you. I'm, I'm going to choose art in New York instead. Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry. God, that was really good. And then, go. So... What do you think? I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. No, it's honestly disgusting. Why would you say that to me? You make me look like a plebeian. Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I didn't invite you to this party. So? So? Yeah. You're not supposed to be here. You're not friends with us anymore. You're, you're acting like you don't even want me here. Yeah, like, I honestly, don't want you here. Don't even tell me that bullshit. Seriously. Think Cut of that it. smile. <laughs> <laughs> you know you like it. You know you like it. Don't give me that bullshit. You're, you're an asshole. I'm not. You think you can just go gallivanting around the world pretending to be a fucking rock star? Are you kidding me? And you don't even tell me where you- I have to find out where you are from the radio? That's insulting. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? Do you know who my father is? I don't give a fuck about your dad. <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm serious. I don't. I get more in allowance than you'll make in your entire life. Please, baby. Your daddy knows who I am. And you do too. So don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing. Look, your father knows I'm smart. He could snap you in half, okay? Look, your father, he already knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. He knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. Your father likes me. I already talked to him. We play golf. It's cool. It's really cool. So Just I, watch your back, okay? No, all I'm saying is this. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. I know that, um, whatever, you want to be at this party, and I came for you, right? You, you want to be here. You're an asshole. You want to be here. Right? I'm not forgiving you. I'm not just, I'm not just gonna let this go. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that, okay? Okay. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. No, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. Fucking asshole. I love you, you know that. I'm serious. I'm gonna take you on tour with me. You wanna come? Leave all this bullshit, whatever. Forget about your dad. You're gonna be rich, it's cool. You already know it. You got all that money, whatever. I have my money. I'm taking you on tour. It's gonna be cool. I'll take you to Europe. You can have all that wine that you've been dreaming about. Tons of French men over there, but you can't do anything to them. Because okay. you, you're my, you're my bitch. <laughs> I have to tell you something. What's up? I know this is really random. Um, I applied to art school at Sarah Lawrence. And I got in. That's good. So what are you saying to me? That you're gonna go? No, you're not gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, you're not. Don't do this shit to me. I'm serious. No, you're not going. You're not going. You're not going. I'm serious. You're not going. Don't. Listen. Don't even fucking cry. I'm serious. <laughs> no, you don't. Think, think about the life that we can live. I mean, we've always talked about it. I have to go.
No. I have to go. I'm sorry. Look, look, okay. All right, all right. When it's all said and done, <sighs> yes, music is my life. But you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember sophomore year? I played that song for you. You remember? It was really cool. Don't let me sing it. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your. This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father, be better than that. And I'm trying to. Okay. And now I've done something, and now you don't want me to do it. I'm just saying, can't you do it in Europe? <laughs> Seriously, that's 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 like where the money is. You're all about money, anyways. So. Don't yeah. make it seem like I'm just about money. That's you kind of are. <laughs> no, just because okay. I have it. Exactly. So, I mean, what what happens if we go to fucking Europe, right? And, um, I don't know, you you apply to the to the art school there. And you, you get in. Obviously, you're going to get in. Do you think in. I'm not serious? Huh? I'm serious about this. I'm just giving you another option where you can have both of what you want. You can have me and art. I know, but you're not going to pay for my school. I'll pay for it. You don't have the money to. Please. I went platinum in like two fucking weeks. I have plenty of money. I can't ask you to do that. You don't have to. I just want you to come with Listen, me. Listen, my dad doesn't know that I got it. So, so you're going to tell him? No, I can't tell him. Why? Are you kidding me? Art? I did not know. I did not know. We did not know. But there's really, there's other complicated ways to say it. That's the simplest. We didn't have knowledge, foreknowledge of the true intent of the producers. How else do I say this? Um, it's nothing but, uh, you know, some legal protection of mine, um, you know, uh, my personal attorney advised me to do this because I got to, uh, leave, um, uh, to go get 
them boys and girls down there. Um, you know, I'm not going to disclose right now where I found out where they are, but I, I did, and I am going to see this right. I'm, I got to fix some things with relationships I have in the industry if I want to keep working in this industry. I mean, I like to retire, but I don't know if I can afford it. <clears throat> I'm getting married soon, and I, I you know, I, it, it's all happening real fast. So I'm going down there to find, fetch these people, and I'm, I'm getting them signed up for the season two, and I'm, I'm getting them fixed up with the FBI and trying to work this out and, and, and keep these boys and girls out of trouble because. You know, I think there was maybe someone behind it, but I don't think all these people were guilty of a crime. I don't think they all knew what they were doing. I think they all got caught up in it, you know, like young people can. And I and I feel, so, I, I personally feel a sense of responsibility for them, even though I, I feel as though you know, depends on how I handle this. I could this could ruin my life, I and mean, that's not even joking. I can't believe after all these years and building up and selling all the things I have and getting ten percent here, getting ten percent there, getting ten percent here, and putting together a couple million dollars, I can you know go away in legal fees because of some damn kid who thinks he can make a Blair Witch project like Orson Welles and, and scare the hell out of people and think they're dead for months and it's just like it, it's just, it ain't right it's, it's just there's nothing right about it so I'm just gonna go down and fix it right now but I just want to make this um I just want to make this quick tape and just you know as like a video um affidavit and say you know to uh, my agency you know CAA to to to, to, to the studios to ABC Universal to uh, Comcast and uh, to all the uh, you know especially uh, Rob, you know, Robert Bryan, COO of programming there, who, 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 who I, I grew up in Louisiana with, with Mr. Roberts, and I, he's the last man I'd ever want to alienate from something like this. So it's like, you know, I just want to get it on the record that I, I, I did have, not have any knowledge of this, and I, I sincerely am, I apologize for what, you know, to the families that, that were, who went through such an ordeal for so long, for, for those months, I mean, for how many, three or four months they were going on, they thought the, the child had died, and, and, and then to see it coming on TV, and to, to be getting these checks, uh, to get, be getting paid for the death of your child, is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's the worst thing in the world that can happen, combined with a good thing that, that makes it all upside down, and sideways, and I just, and I'm a part of it, and I'm, I'm, the genesis of it, and the project came to me, and I could have ignored it. I mean, yeah, the FBI, I had to watch those things because they came to me, but hey, I don't know, fate or destiny sent them to me. I, I thought I was, I thought, I thought I hit the jackpot when I got those tapes, and I sat down and watched a few of them with those FBI agents. But I, you know, now looking back, be careful what you wish for, because you know, I always wished for, you know, another Judge Shaw, set, you know, sell. I, you know, I don't believe in that when I was trying to sell that, you know. I mean, hey, Mr. Roberts, um. Mr. Brian, rather himself, he you know he he passed on that. He laughed his ass off when I was telling him about that sinker girl. He said he just laughed his ass off, and now now we laugh about it over some Southern Comfort when we talk about the ratings and how it just blew out. You know, it's the highest rating show on on MTV. So I so, so it's like you ask yourself, you know, you, you see where these kids get these ideas from. They see paranormal activity and they see all these things, and you know you never know what, what might come up from it. So um, anyway, it's just uh, just getting it out there that I, I just want to apologize. Um, don't know when I'll be back. Don't know if I'll be able to reach down there in the islands. Uh, don't want to really disclose my location um, just because I don't want anyone else involved. I think it's my problem. It's my, it's my mess to clean up, and I want to do that right now. And uh, I have contacted the authorities. I have contacted a special agent who's going to be um, flying down there and meeting me. And I uh, just wanted to uh, say here now that I'm, I'm packed up and I'm ready to go, and I'm going to see this thing through. And, and uh, you know, I might have been a little bit crass early talking about my 10% on this next season. And uh, while that is accurate, you know, I'll get paid. And um, I, by no means am I doing it opportunistically. Uh, frankly, I see this as a, an attempt to, uh, to to bring closure on something that was going to be widely misunderstood. I mean, the, 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 the public's going to eviscerate these people. They're going to think that nothing but, uh, you know, opportunistic uh, pieces of shit that exploited and manipulated the American public. And I, frankly, I don't think these kids were, were had done that. Maybe there's the, the one or two of them did, but I, I don't think they all should be blamed and have their life ruined like that. So I'm just going to try to help these men, these boys and girls. And, and I want to help myself, frankly, and, and, and help... Help, help me in my own. So I, I want to do that, and I just want to make this uh, little, you know, shitty ass with my damn camcorder, just for the record, that I I, I knew nothing about this, and uh, I stand by that, and and I and I'll testify that in the court of law, in any court of law. Yeah, yep, yep, in uh, in up here, in, yeah, in, in California, uh, it, down south in Dixie, uh, wherever you want to say it, I, I, I will. Uh, as long as it's on American soil, I will testify, and as long as my hand can be pulling that Bible, and I can swear to God, I will. God help me.
Praise Jesus. Well, proud to say that I um, I closed the deal today. Yeah, I sold them. My mentor grew up in the same Louisiana parish I did. Yep, he's the uh, COO of uh, Comcast, the uh, you know, the only NBC Universal. He had passed on Jersey Shaw when I uh, pitched him a few years ago. Well, I didn't really believe in the project myself at the time, I'll admit. But, you know, the numbers make a believer out of anybody. Anyway, once I uh, pitched him this uh, whole idea of the uh, graduation party, showed him some of the footage I got in that mysterious FedExes. It took a few minutes, but I sold him. I sold him good. Got a really good price. I set a record for reality programming in terms of the... Uh, Actual hours and per capita ratio, dynamic breakdown, if you will. And you know what I did? I splurged on my 10%. Yeah. yeah. One hour after I made my deal, it was around 3 o'clock this afternoon, I went out and bought something I've been dying to buy for years. And I'm ashamed to say I spent the whole 10% on it, which was, you know, close to about, it was about, almost about a million dollars. About 900 and change. You know, when I bought, guess. Hmm? What? Take like a minor league baseball team or maybe one of those supercars from uh, Italian, you know, the Germans, uh, you know, one of those uh, one of those assholes in Europe, uh, you know, building nice cars, Japanese, one of those things. Nah, I mean, I like my cars and everything, but I build American, Paul Tuff, and some Mustangs and shit like that. You know, you know, we're not here in L.A., you got to play the game, you can't be a southern boy like me. I mean, I'll never change the way I talk, but I got to change the way I dress, and I got to change the way I count myself. So, um, I dropped nine, 928,000 tax on this baby right here. Yeah, modern art. Modern fucking art, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's actually cardboard and, and, and twine. Um, that's all it is, really, actually. But it's uh, apparently a um, really hot artist who... Uh, he, um, you know, well, actually, he's becoming a she. Uh, he's in the middle of a gender reassignment thing, which I think, you know, just heightens the value of the product or the work piece or whatever the fuck they call these things. Point is, it's an investment. It's a tax shelter. I mean, I can't stand looking at the thing, but, you know, my guests will be right, very impressed because, you know, you look at this thing and you say, you know, uh, you know, this is a uh, Von Makenstein with this guy's name, you know, you know, they'll be really impressed. You know, it's like it's like you're buying a name. You ain't, you ain't even buying art. You're buying a name. It's like the actor thing. It's all a game. It's all y'all become. You, you become commodified at some point. I and mean, that's what I do. I just buy and sell these people. And I'm, you know, I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm not exploiting them. I'm helping them. Feeding the families. But she's a beaut, ain't she? She's a beaut. And I got her for a bargain. I mean, you guys, I mean, you know, I got, we went to Sotheby's. Sotheby's, they had the auction. You know, modern art. They do it, they do it about two or three times a year when they, when they got really good pieces in there. And, uh, only 900. I thought it was going to go past a million, but it didn't. I was so happy about that. You know, that's because I didn't want to spend more than my 10% on it. You know, because it was out there. I just made that deal. It was just clean. It was clean. So now I got it hanging right here. You know, I got to figure out like a real, real, real that impressive place to hang it. You know, some place where, you know, if someone walks by it, they won't, you know, destroy it since it's, again, just paper and string and twine that I could probably put together for 57 cents. And uh, the tools of a kindergartner, but hey, what do I know about art? You know, I had about one artist who was a uh, he, he took his own feces and he uh, put it in a box, uh, like we packaged them up. And one sold this is no shit, this sold uh, sold in uh, London uh, last year for like a uh, quarter million dollars, eight ounces of the man shit. He sold it as shit. I mean, so when you say that, mom, that's a bunch of shit, you ain't, you ain't kidding, you ain't lying. But this ain't shit. This ain't shit. You can't say that about this. This is. This is, uh. This is bullshit. I'm gonna return it. This is, what the hell did I spend a million dollars on this? This is absolute bullshit. I need to stop this thing.
Christmas in December, and I'm telling you one thing right now, it's just about executing the plan. You know, I've played it perfectly, okay? I talked to, uh, I talked to my boy over at Comcast NBC Universal, and, uh, you know, uh, disavowed all knowledge, and he's got plausible deniability, okay? Well, it's turned down to pick up to my turn, yeah? So I'll tell you one thing. The key is right now is keeping the lid on what you got going on down there. When this whole thing happened, the whole reason why we're in this little pickle, the whole reason why this whole mess started, and I don't blame you, baby, I'm just telling you straight up, you lost control of one of your people. I mean, you had them up like a regiment from Paris Island Marines, all in line, and saying who, hup, hup, hit, hide, and all at the same time in unison, marching like a marching band. All I'm telling you is that you lost control of someone down there in Paris, and listen, what's done is done, I'm not going to run around the car back to this thing, but when I get down there, looks like, you know, Make a sweet love to you. I'm going to say some things straight. I want to talk to these people. I'm going to tell them, listen, they want to go to the jail time, you know, because we can't have you going in your pretty ass jail. We got to uh, we got to spread it, blame you a little bit. We got to create a little bit of confusion and a little bit of a contradictory testimony. You know? I got an hour to work on that. But listen, I'm, uh, I got the, uh, got the private jet fuel, uh, fueled up right now. I got the car waiting. And uh, I got a little bit of a problem with these... Um, Friendly uh, federal agents have been uh, helpful in uh, feeding me information. They're uh, kind of shadowing me right now. I think they suspect something. I don't, maybe I got, maybe they got a tap on uh, on my phone. I'm using the uh, you know, line nine. I never use line nine. I mean, I use line eight in an emergency. I use line ten during the holidays. Uh, you know, line six of, is of course you know for you know, me and for sex talk. Uh, line four typically for just friends. Line two is a is a business line. Line one and to pay the bill on Saturday, no line one no more, but I, I'm using line nine, and, and I don't think they got line nine, I don't even know about line nine, so I'm using line nine, I'm just saying one thing, okay, so I'm getting on that thing, all right, I'm going to be down there, when I do, when I get down there, we're going about, mm, we're going to have to jump about three, three, four hours on those sets, they're going to be, they're going to get, they're going to, they're, they're going to be right back around my town, I'm going to get my fastest car, I'm going to drive right down there. These kids were going to be like, the next big thing, had this, had gone according to plan. I mean, for yeah, the most they part, were... they're getting exposure, but they're not getting the credit, you know, that I think they are, that, that is, you know, owed to them. Mm -hmm. You know, if had they stayed alive, um, most of them, I guess, they would be reaping the benefits of what's going on right now. The most shy and ugly people in the world, they want to be on camera. Shit, we see them on TV all the time, you know what I'm saying? I don't see what the big deal was. There was no problem with them being filmed. People are filmed all the time at parties or wherever it is, you know, and, uh... They're right to their own lives. Yeah, but you know, when you're at a party, there's nothing that's private. There is no privacy at parties.
<clears throat> this video is doing it now. This is this is Bobby Grant um, coming at you with my nightly uh, video uh, diary blog entry where I like to uh, for posterity and uh, legality and other uh, eventualities. Uh, I like to reflect upon the day and uh, have a few things to say about things in this uh, showbiz crazy sort of business that uh, sometimes don't go my way. I just got a call from my attorney and it uh, seems that I'm going to be the, uh, well, one of the defendants in a lawsuit regarding this deal I made approximately uh, three to four months ago regarding this, um, you might be familiar with this um, graduation party. It was the tragedy where these uh, young men and women had uh, attended this elite Manhattan uh, online school with a single building as a dormitory to have a social atmosphere, but conducted all their classes in a, in a very innovative or some would say ridiculous manner of uh, taking it online when they just could have gotten in a room and talked about Plato or True Bus 2 equals 4 or whatever the hell they wanted to talk about. But that's neither here nor there. The point is that they spent their $100,000 in four years there and they actually hardly met each other until the actual graduation day where they had a party and they spent a nine to ten hours that night in a rented mansion hosted by someone that we have not identified at this point for reasons unknown suspected at the time to be nothing more than to the typical reason for having a party such as a graduation party also just celebrating graduation yeah it's self-explanatory it's like a birthday party or christmas god damn it shouldn't blast me like that my mama told me not to blast me like that pardon me Anyway, here's a little skin I got for my little daughter right here, and, and anyone that might see this. And again, I, I, I do film this for my own protection and to, uh, uh, to enhance my recollection in case uh, I am subpoenaed uh, for a deposition or testimony in uh, one of these cases, uh, which, of course, has happened many times before in this business. I just want to state for the record unequivocally that um, the first time I ever heard of this project, the first time I ever heard, I, I, 
I do mostly fiction. I, romantic comedies is my little niche. I, I, mean, I grew up with Matthew McConaughey, and I, I placed him in, in a number of vehicles. I, I transferred him recently to The Lincoln Lawyer, which I believe is an incredible uh, career move upward for him because he's got a dynamic range that is underestimated, in my opinion. He's, he's a pretty boy, people think, in a lot way in terms of an actor, but he has incredible chops, and he's got range that that boy can go farther than a... Caramel in a Saudi Arabian desert without water. I'm telling you, the, the boy can act. Anyway, that's either here nor there either. The point is this I rarely even do reality TV. I've only done one reality TV show in my life, uh, which I'm proud to say, well, not at the time I was selling it, but it was a little, little show about some kids, uh, the age of the graduation party subjects. They, they happen to be um, of the Italian, uh, of the Italian uh, descent, and it was a little, uh, little shoe matter heard called Jersey Shore. That's right. Yep. I can't say I invented a situation or a snooky, but I, 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 I was the causation for the, uh, the hy hysterical realization that this was uh, the most popular show in the history of MTV. I believe. I don't really read the trades. I just. Make sure that ten percent checks come in, and they came in, mighty big ones. The point is, everybody, almost everybody in town, said no to me about the Jersey Shore. Who's going to want to watch a bunch of Guidos eating pizza and getting a spray tan? And I said to myself, "Hey, everybody's interested in their own way. Everyone's got a story to tell. You never know who might be interested in whatever." And hell, if uh, you can watch people cook, if you can watch people play chess, if you can watch people play poker, for God's sake, you can watch people fight over. You know, drunken ball friend fights. I mean, sounds like good television to me. And damn right, I was, I was right. And I'm proud to say, that's why I still survive in this business. Very tough business. And I might not have an education, I might not have much intelligence, but I do have a sense of what the average man wants. Because, you know that guy, Joe the Plumber? He is the second cousin of Lyre the Cable Guy, who is my third cousin twice removed. So you see what I'm saying? You know, we're like family down south. And not many of these bars, like myself and, you know, southern bars, ever make it to Hollywood. It's just not something we do. In fact, I go back, I go back home to Louisiana Bayou, to my parish where I grew up. You won't believe the shit I get. As a successful Hollywood, as a successful Hollywood agent, I still get shit. I still get shit. I get, I get teased like a northeastern kid coming back to his alumni reunion who is working at a gas station. Really. It's just that's like that. It's backwards. It's absolutely backwards. You know, they make fun of a man at a gas station up north, the Yankees would, saying, you know, go get a job as an investment banker. Well, I go back to Louisiana and I said, hey, I'm a, I'm a fancy Hollywood, hobnobbing, party going, model fucking, model loving agent. And uh, I get no respect for that. They said, Bo, why don't you do some respectable work with your hands? Why don't you do something with your life? Make something. What the hell are you making? You ain't even making the movies. You're just making the deal. You're just a middleman. You're just a salesman. You're just a... They've called me worse, but that, that's, a, that's a polite way of describing what I do in their minds. Anyway. Anyway. I'm making this little tape here just to say that there's been a development. We're about to have a premiere. We've already launched out in Europe, and because of a pending investigation regarding the whereabouts of some of these individuals, because while the initial reports was that they did die in a fire, and that was uh, it was it was deemed conclusive by the coroner at the time, because of the uh, bodies were found and all the other circumstantial evidence that pointed to it, Austin was suspected at first, and then ruled out, and then now it's been brought back into. Uh, being suspected, I suppose. Persons of interest are being discovered. Subpoenas are being sent. Letters, compelling production of evidence, and notes and emails and phone call logs. Hey, all this bullshit. Can't stand it. Can't stand it whatsoever. And I certainly can't stand it when I'm innocent. I had nothing to do with it. So what's this all about? <clears throat> what's the problem? It turns out one of these girls, one of these girls, yeah, one that, that, that died in the fire. That she, she had a, um, has a daddy. That's a, that's actually a, yes, one of the sinners of South Carolina. Yeah, 
on Republican Senate from South Carolina. And comment four times. Four times. Anywho, you got those FBI boys involved. He ain't going to sit still and say, hey, my, my dog just died of fire. He wants to know how he died, who died, who set that fire. Was it accidental? Was it a suicide pack? What the hell was it? What the hell happened? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to know if I was a father, if I had a child. I, do, I don't want to know. It's fair enough. Well, those boys got digging. Those boys got digging. And they found out that there was this one boy that was at the party who got jilted. Yeah. He had sent her, got on bended knee, and gave this woman a ring. One of his girlfriend. He'd been dating it who knows how long. He'd been dating this girl for, all, I guess, all college sweetheart. Who knows? College sweetheart kind of thing. Gets down on one knee from the whole damn party. And guess what he does? He pops a question. But that night was so crazy. That party was so nuts. Everybody was kissing everybody. Boys kissing, boys kissing, girls kissing, boys kissing, donkeys kissing, dogs kissing, cats. It was a freak show. I'm telling you, I've been to Hollywood parties and orgies and all that kind of crazy shit. Man, that looked like a kindergarten cupcake parade compared to the shit that these people have been describing to me and the outtakes that have not been aired and are never going to be aired. And maybe we'll sell them on DVD, pay-per-view, you know, down the line for ancillary income, but, you know. It's between you and me. Anyway, this woman, this woman, this really nice, beautiful young woman, maybe she was in love uh, before the party, but she went, she, by the midpoint of that party, once she had gotten that little, you know, those, those, that, 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 that vodka and that, that, that Jack with that Jack Daniels whiskey, that Southern Comfort, you know, that, uh, that gin, that whiskey, that, uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying, that bourbon, the Kentucky bourbon, oak barrel aged. Flavored and those oak barrels, sideways. It's the wood, you know, that makes the bourbon special. And it's always in only Kentucky. You can get that bourbon. Anyhow, there was some bourbon at that party, and by the end, they the go get the ring back. And the man was, he was devastated. Man, he was a broken man. You can understand that. He was a broken man. And he's just a good man. This is a good, good man. He's a good, solid man. I didn't fit into that crowd because you know that was a crowd that thought it was too cool for school. No pun. It just, just you know, it, they they thought they were the shit. They that their shit don't stink, and they knew it all. This bar, he had a brain. He knew he didn't. He he knew. He didn't know at all. He knew he was dumb, just like I was dumb, just like I'm still dumb. We're all dumb till we get old, and then we die. The point is, he went home early, and nobody noticed. So they got a witness, and they're interviewing him right now. Said, I'm about to uh, talk to the FBI agent and watch the deposition tapes, because he was interviewed on the record. I want to get some more information, because at the end of the day, there might be more to this story than we thought. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure, but there's no such thing as bad publicity. And uh, if it gets people talking about it, then my 10% becomes a little bit a little bit bigger with a little bit extra zero on the end sometimes. So, you know, between you and me. All right, I got to go watch my rodeos coming on. Now.
interrupt you, but I'm just telling you this right now. I want to do anything I can to co cooperate in this investigation. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Well, like I said, I need to know that you haven't sold or tried to sell that tape to anybody else. Can you tell me that? Um, I can tell you I have not um, com completed the transaction. I admit that, but I, I must admit, frankly, I know I'm not under oath, so I'm just saying this at the goodness of my heart. I have uh, entered into preliminary negotiations for the Mr. material. Lee, who has the tape? Excuse me? Who has the tape? Well, I have a copy of the tape, and I will forward right now. If you give me a, um, you know, a, an email, I will have it within four seconds. So you have everything I have. So let's just stay friendly here because. Who has the I don't know. I, I don't know who sent it to me. And I say that with the God's honest truth. Think of this, um, Special Agent. Here, here's the angle. But someone sent it to me with the hope that I would be able to exploit it into the distribution media, whether it's MTV. Did you make any copies? Did I, I did receive, through FedEx, a copy of this material. Nine hours plus of raw material from their last hours at I that graduation that. party. Did you make any copies after you received No. The no, I have not. I have not. But what I have done is told people in the industry about the existence of this because, to me, it still could be a Blair Witch thing where it's all fictional. I just don't know. Well, it's certainly not a crime for you to tell anybody about it. But from this point forward, you'd be doing yourself a, 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 a favor if you wouldn't tell anybody else about this. Because right now, this thing has the potential to really ruin your life. Huh? I mean, if you want to be in a position... Where you're, I mean, just the fact that right now the tapes in California could change us from being a New York investigation into a, a, an interstate FBI situation. And but let me tell you something. The feds don't mess around. I, so, I didn't ask for the tape. So the, the tape was sent to me. And, and to be honest, I was about to report it. But when you get so many tapes from filmmakers trying to do a Blair Witch, you can't report ever you know, fake. The biggest movie ever made was Paranormal Activity, and it's a fake faux footage, found footage thing. It's a genre unto itself. So when I get tapes like that, um, if I call the cops every day, I'd be calling the cops every day. So here's what I got to understand. After watching the tape and seeing the deaths and it all putting it together, I realized I was in too deep. I was about to call you, boys. I made no, if I was trying to hide this, I would not try to shop it. And I will give you everything. You get me some, I'll get you right now on my people on. So they will give you all the information to how to get in touch with us. We will send you digitally everything we got. And, and, and let's touch base soon because I'd like to know where I stand in all this because my reputation's at stake. I'm sure by now you know that the footage you found is real, correct? Well, to be honest, if it is real, uh, and, and let me just add one fact you may not know. I got this from an anonymous source, but what the, there was a note in there, and I'll give it to you for handwriting analysis because it was handwritten. The note said something to the effect of, we want you to show the world or share this with the world. And I think the, the, the footage, for whatever reason, is their manifesto or their statement or their suicide note, whatever. I don't understand. I know that they had something to communicate, and that's why they sent it to, you know, Creative Artists Agency. My understanding is that you also believe that one of the participants may be alive. Is that true? That is new information we just received. Basically, after watching some of this footage, we found out that one of the individuals was rejected from a marriage proposal and humiliated by the fact that this woman who he had asked to marry, who accepted it, then rejected him, went...